We're covering troubling new details tonight after two Wake County school buses crashed. They both were headed to East Wake High School, and that's where we find CBS North Carolina's David Hurst. He joins us live with what he's learned about the driver of one of the buses. David? Well, Sean, four children and two adults have been released from the hospital after minor injuries they got in that crash. And CBS North Carolina did some digging on the background of the driver police say is at fault and found multiple traffic violations. State troopers say around 6.45 this morning, Wake County school bus driver Casual Tabron was going north on Lylestead Road near Wendell Boulevard when she did not stop at the stop sign. Investigators have charged her with failing to yield the right of way. She and the other bus driver were taken awake med with minor injuries. Wake County School District officials say four children were taken to the hospital, including Tabron's daughter. They say Tabron and her child were the only two on the bus. The other bus was full of high school students, and the uninjured students were picked up and taken to school. A CBS North Carolina did some digging and found that Tabron was hired in February 2014. Court records show Tabron has had five traffic violations dating back to 2004. Most recently, she was cited in 2014 for failing to yield on a left turn. She was employed by the school district at the time, but she got the citation while in a personal car. It's not known yet if she was disciplined for the citation. As for this crash, Wake County schools say they're still looking into it and plan to take a appropriate actions. And we filed an open records request with the school district regarding any suspensions due to disciplinary actions for the driver at fault. We're told that they are working on that request, but the information was not yet available by our deadline. Reporting live in Wendell, David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina. And a woman only received